Jim, we know you can catch the football on the football field, but I want to see how good you are at bags. You ready? Yeah, I mean, we'll see you give it a shot. Um, <laughs> you know, I just had a couple practice rounds, didn't go, didn't, didn't go too well, but hopefully we'll heat up for the, for the you game. You want to know who didn't have practice shots? Me. Sounds like it. We'll, let, we'll let you like go first. We'll thing. let you go first. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Too much. It's coming down to it. We could be here a while. <laughs> Let's go. 21 more times and... <laughs> we'll be here a long time. So you were named team captain. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Well, I was an honor. Um, you know, probably one of the biggest honors of my life, being able to you know, represent a group of, you know, men that, that means so much to me at a place that, that means so much to me. Um, you know, I'm really excited for this opportunity. It's been um, something that I've been working towards for a long time and, and one of my goals. So um, to have the trust of my teammates means everything to me. That's oh, no. what I like to see. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, he sunk it. <laughs> go in. When's the last time you played bags? A couple, like a month ago. This could be over <laughs> real soon. <laughs> Best thing about bags, you can always make a comeback. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I got an audience. Getting ready, be ready for Saturday, I guess. So favorite spot in Madison to eat? Well, first of all, I love buck and onions. Um, <laughs> Chipotle chicken pasta, no onions, um, and also the dry rub chicken wings with ranch. But if I had to pick a non buck and onions place, I would say this place called Hand Pulled Noodles on State Street. Um, the barbecue pork buns are pretty, pretty incredible. But in Waukesha, uh, People's Park. If you're ever in downtown Waukesha, uh, you need to check out People's Park. They have a lot of good food. Um, it's a lot of fun. Been going there for a long time now. Do you have any uh, game day superstitions? Not really. I mean, I do, but it's something that I don't even think about. Uh, I go out and warm up by myself and have the same pregame routine. Um, but it kind of changes year by year. Usually I pick up some superstitions when I start the season. Um, I think before bed, I always I always hop in the Norma text. Um, kind of some compression to get my legs flowing right before bed and do, do a stretch routine. It's probably the, the only thing that's really consistent. Oh, no. <laughs> that was bad. There we go. Blocked me off. Ah, I needed that. Can I go over top? What is that? Three? Three, three, tied it up. Yeah, here we go. Huge. Are you feeling the pressure? Yeah, I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite thing to do that's not play football? Probably right now, easily golfing. Um, I got into it last year. Spent way too much money on clubs, so I guess I'm kind of tied into it now. <laughs> um, but it's a it's a way to be competitive and um, kind of get out with the with the guys and spend some time. And um, at the same time, it's it's a lot different from football because we're not uh, we're not Whatever. we're not getting um, you know watched and things like that. Just you know, there's no consequence if I go out there and shoot 115 or something like that. So, um, who's your who's your uh, golf partner on the team? I've golfed with a bunch of dudes on the team. Um, or I guess who do you want to golf with? Who's like the partner if you're if I you need know. it? Well, I could probably have two to the answer. Tanner Mordecai is an unbelievable golfer. Um, at least for an amateur golfer, in my opinion. Um, and then Alex Moeller. Um, me and him have had some pretty good scrambles this summer, so we, we uh, complement each other's games well. There we go. Get in there. I'm getting whooped. You're oh. welcome. Thank you. You know, I'm just a team guy, Jim. You need those guys on your team. You had a pretty pretty busy off season. Yeah. Uh, your football camp again. Yep. Why is that so important to you, and and what does it mean for you to to carry on that? Yeah, I think it's awesome because you know it has kind of um, you know two two main goals of mine and main purposes that are you know pretty important to me. One, you know, giving back to you know a community that that gave so much to my football career um, by kind of just trying to do. Uh, by kind of just trying to, uh, you know, give them some of the knowledge that me and my teammates have gained. Um, 
And then also just the Kyler Memorial Fund. Uh, you know, when my friend passed away in high school from a you know, heart condition, I knew I wanted to give something back to his, uh, his foundation. And um, it's kind of the perfect way to do that. So we've had a lot of success year two growing, and I'm just excited to you know, see where it goes moving forward. A lot of your teammates help out with that. You were doing, helping out with, you know, there was a golf yeah. event and Braylon Allen's charity softball. Like, what does it say about this team? You know, if you need a guy to come help support you, they'll do it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's awesome, you know, having the guys, um, you know, come out and support, especially the first year when nobody really knew how it was going to go, if yeah. anybody was even going to show up. And, um, you know, I had guys volunteering this year to come. Um, so I think it was awesome uh, that, you know, I had the, such a good guys in the locker room. And um, I think it just kind of speaks um, about the kind of culture we have in our program. And you won an award, too. I did win an award, yeah, at the um, Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame, um, which was pretty awesome. Um, and being around all those you know, great athletes and kind of being a part of that event was, was pretty special. So in year three, going to be bigger and better? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we've had you know, great support, Evans Transportation, a um, bunch of companies that um, have supported us and just kind of know what the layout is. Um, you know, hopefully we have a lot of success and make people really um, excited to, to come to the camp um, as well. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to growing at year three and just, you know, keep it, keep it rolling in the future. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Probably my favorite and least favorite places to play is at um, Iowa Stadium in Kinnick. Um, their fans are on top, of on top of you, which is super annoying, but all at the same time, uh, one of the coolest atmospheres yeah. in college football. So um, I guess it kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, there's a part of you that's like, please stop yelling at me <laughs> from three feet, I hear you. But also at the same time, um, be able to have opportunities like that and, you know, play big time college football has been a dream of mine. So be able to, you know, kind of go with my teammates and um, it's pretty much us against the world. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And it's nice when you make a big play to just kind of not so, hear anything, yeah. right? Yep. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got the past two in there, so um, they definitely let us hear it. But, um, you know, we know that matchup against Iowa. We have a lot of respect for their program. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to this year, them coming to us and, um, you know, playing in Camp Randall. Are you getting nervous? No, I'm getting <laughs> no. aggravated. I can't put this bag on the board. So what do you listen to before a game? What's your go-to? Or does it change? It kind of changes. Normally, I, like before um, the season, I'll like, probably like this week, I'll like, uh, I'm changing on my strategy. I don't like that. Um, normally, like this week, I'll, I'll make a playlist of kind of, some stuff I like, um, maybe I listen to it over, oh my goodness. And he's come back, come back. 11-7. Um, normally, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, to get back to your question though, normally I'll um, you know, make a playlist of stuff I like and then kind of shuffle through that. Um, last year there was a Kodak Black song that I had to listen to every time I was driving. So I guess that is a superstition um, that I missed on. Um, but I don't think it'll, it'll happen again this year just because uh, I kind of change them up. Yes. Oh. Nope. Oh no. This is it. I'm dead. You won. Pleasure. <laughs>